There's so much happening uh, in our nation's capital. The uh, Not only did we have a report that came out from the government, Wemp the Federal Weaponization Committee under a subcommittee under the, the House Judiciary Committee, earlier today, the House Oversight Committee uh, also revealed information, major allegations against the Biden administration for raking in millions of dollars from foreign nationals, uh, some linked to the Chinese Communist Party, uh, for influence peddling. Now, that's what we're going to talk about. However, they, the votes have been called on the House floor and everyone's scrambling to vote. So we may have to save that topic until tomorrow. We're waiting to see if uh, we connect with uh, Congresswoman Lisa McLean. Uh, but I want to go uh, to another related Biden topic with uh, Travis Weber, vice president for policy here at the Family Research Council. And it has to do with the, the Biden administration in... We, we talked about just a few moments ago about what they're doing in the military. Well, they're doing the same thing in foreign policy, pushing this radical leftist agenda that undermines the family, religion, sowing so, uh, discord in countries all around the world. Uh, joining me now is Travis Weber, Vice President of Policy and Government Affairs. Travis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tony. So when we look at, uh, it's very obvious what they're doing in our nation's military, pushing this abortion agenda, what they're doing in education here domestically with the transgender agenda. All of this combined is being pushed in a very big way when we look at our foreign policy through the State Department. Yeah, it really is, Tony. It's tragic and it's sad. And it's going to decrease America's standing around the world. I mean, as you were talking with Senator Budd, this is discouraging allies when they see the U.S. military focusing on distracting uh, drag queen performances. So we need to focus on military readiness. How it similarly discourages allies when they see us coercing and strong arming countries around the world to push coercive LGBT related agenda items of the Biden administration into these countries against the country's own wishes. And it's sad to say, but we're becoming a promoter of this stuff. America is becoming known for promoting the LGBT agenda. Uh, even the last few weeks, there's been a litany of developments in the news. They're now rolling out a USAID policy with a comment period ending tomorrow that's going to in integrate the in in promotion of the LGBT agenda. They're framing it as inclusive development throughout the entire USAID programming. Um, Tony, it really paints a, a discouraging, for our allies around the world, a discouraging picture of what the United States is supposed to be all about. Yeah, I've actually uh, read the po report, the USAID LGBTQI plus inclusive development policy. And, and just the opening of it says USAID. Now, this is the uh, the, the agency under the Trump administration that was helping rebuild churches and others in the Middle East that had been destroyed by ISIS. They're the humanitarian. They, they tried to help. Uh, and they, they're, they're really to put, I guess, a, a good face on America abroad by being a helping hand. Here's the, the very opening of this uh, report. USAID affirms and celebrates lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex people, and all people of diverse sexual orientations, gender identities, and expressions, and sex characteristics as integral parts of every society. W what about celebrating just normal people? What about celebrating what America is about and uh, helping people regardless of what their sexual orientation yeah. or confusion might be? Yeah, I mean, Tony, you know, this is this is sending a signal about what's important to the United States. And we're sending the signal that this is what we care about to the detriment of clean, clean, clean water, health care, housing, a sustenance, basic economic needs. We're, we're when we send this signal, we're not sending that signal. We're also not currently under the Biden administration talking about the value of religious freedom. USAID should have a religious freedom policy that incorporates the promotion of this basic human right, which we have been known to fight for. And so, Tony, the United States, before our eyes, is giving up its place of the historic worldwide defender of human rights in, in the, the battle, the ideological battles of the last century, positioned as the beacon of freedom against Soviet communism. We're now abdicating that role to promote 
sexual uh, perversion against the wishes and with a coercive arm twisting manner on these African countries who need help and need a helping hand. And we're now right. twisting their arms and saying, you're not going to get aid unless you come alongside. Two weeks ago, the U.S. government paused its PEPFAR, its AIDS relief meeting with uh, Ugandan partners to because of the country's stance on homosexuality. We're seeing this across the board. Rob Emanuel, a Japanese back, a Japanese journalist, uh, expressing outrage at his meddling in that country's uh, laws on sexuality because he's pushing the LGBT agenda as ambassador to Japan, meddling in domestic policies in that country. So this is a pattern. Uh, the scores of embassies flying the pride flag, the U.S. government and its human rights uh, reports uh, criticizing countries for their laws that go against the Biden administration's agenda on this. So this is a pattern, and it's sending a horrific signal about what the United States is supposed to be about worldwide. It, it's cultural imperialism is, is what this is. Uh, what can people do to weigh in on this? So, Tony, the comment period is closing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be filing a comment, but uh, you can partner with FRC as we're trying to be your eyes and ears in Washington on items like this and let us know you stand with us uh, against what the Biden administration right. is trying to, to uh, push on this. But there is the opportunity to comment with USAID through the end of the comment period tomorrow. All right, folks, we'll talk more about that. Also, you can weigh in with your members of Congress and tell them to stop this radical push upon foreign countries that don't want it. Travis, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.